Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Hansen. Just wanted to give you a quick video tour of your Summer One Chem 3760 Organic Chem Lab One Virtual Classroom. Our lab in the summer term will be held 100% online, asynchronous. Again, there are very specific due dates, but you may certainly work ahead as well. So welcome to our lab course. Our lab officially begins Monday, May 10th, and your first lab simulation is due by Thursday, May 13th. My name again is Mrs. Hansen. Your lab teaching assistants are also listed and will provide for you a welcome video of their own once the course is open. I urge you to start with the Start Here module and read through the course content. You'll find the syllabus, the course calendar, getting started with our Labster, which is the name of our software used for our virtual simulation. And for each lab you perform within the Labster platform, you will write a lab report and reflection paper with the scoring rubric provided. Let's have a great summer session working together. So again, this is your news feed. I'm going to hit the link for the content and share with you some information about the course setup within the virtual classroom itself in e-learning. Here is our getting started module. This module kind of gives you information regarding how the class is set up. Here is your teaching assistant link yet to be updated completely. I do have a video welcome from James, but we are still currently working from Vitalis. So when we have that uploaded, feel free to have the welcome video viewed by your TAs. Your course syllabus is found in the second link on Chem 3760. Read through this very carefully and see here is your uh, course calendar provided. You can see that labs will be due every Thursday and every Sunday throughout our summer term. You'll read about the late work policy. I give you strategies for success. Remind you of the academic integrity statement and include with you the scoring rubric for your lab report and reflection pages. Please take the time to carefully read through those so you have a great understanding of how your grades will be determined in your lab course. The Labster, as I said, is our virtual chemistry lab. It's the platform that you will use when performing your experiments. When you click this link, you'll take a tour of the Labster platform. Now this is just a video, it is not the actual Labster site, but when you watch this video, it's going to give you clear directions on how to be a successful student while using this simulation package. It even gives you a list of do's and don'ts while performing, and it will show you your technical requirements necessary to run the labs. And finally, the last link in the Start Here module will show you the lab report and reflection paper scoring rubric. You may want to consider printing this and keeping it on your desk so that you have a clear understanding of what each document should contain and just double check your work prior to submission into the Dropbox. Notice the table of contents just scrolls down the left hand side. Your first module, Matter and Phase Change, you'll be performing a virtual lab through distillation due on May 13th. Lab number two, Organic Chemistry Introduction, due on May 16th. Module three, Carbon Valence, due on May 20th, and so forth. When we click in the table of contents, it opens up that module for you. The very first click in every one of these modules to follow the same format. The very first link is going to be to a PDF document that gives you a hard copy of the directions for the lab. Let me just click this and give you an example of what I'm referring to. In module one, you'll be performing matter and phase changes, the distillation of ethanol. This document will provide a synopsis. It will provide very key terms of vocabulary. It will share with you your learning objectives, the techniques in the lab, the required theory that you'll be practicing to work for mastery of content. And it will go through and share with you all important terms and processes for the lab. Friends, this is a critical document in order to create your lab report, 
reflection paper. So you may choose to print that, but you don't need to. You can certainly just keep it open as you create your lab report. The next click you see is a module one lab report paper. After you've performed your experiment, this is just the Dropbox that you'll put in your document for your formal lab report. And then down here, you'll see this external learning tool. This is the place that actually brings you to the virtual platform. So look for the link that says external learning tool. And when you click that, it will actually open the lab that's assigned. And it may take a few moments to load. It depends on the speed of your internet and so forth. But clicking the external link within our virtual classroom in e-learning will automatically take you to the lab that you need to complete for that particular module. Now, as you progress through your virtual lab, you will be answering questions throughout. Those questions are automatically scored for you and graded. So when you submit your virtual lab, you will see a grade automatically post in your e-learning gradebook. So each one of the labs has two components for grading. The virtual lab, which is auto-graded by Labster and exported automatically upon submission. And the second will be the reflection paper you submit, the formal lab report with reflection component that is graded manually by your TAs according to the scoring rubric I've provided. So this has provided for you a nice tour. I don't want to take too much of your time. I want you to go ahead and start clicking around and getting familiar with your organic chemistry lab. Begin when ready. Hey, don't forget to email if you have any questions. Good luck.